Hey everyone, Tyler Staniford here at Super Speed Golf. I'm excited to show you uh, a, a great use of the PRGR monitor on the course. I think two common questions that we get from a lot of our users are, one, is my speed transferring to the golf course? Or two, how do I transfer my speed to the golf course? And I think the best way to do that is to actually use this little monitor while you're out on the golf course because you can set it up very quickly on holes and then actually record your club speed and ball speed. This has two purposes. One, it allows you to see what your on-course speeds are. Two, it allows you to measure, are you swinging with enough intensity that we'd like to see? If your driving range speeds are you know, 110 and your on-course speeds are 102, we've got an issue. We wanna, we wanna get that up a little bit more. You know, if your on-course speeds are 109 and your driving range is 110, hey, we're right where we need to be. Anyway, there's a great little setup. So what I like to do when I'm doing this, I'll just tee up my ball. Okay. All right, once I have that ball teed up, right, again, I've got to find my aiming point because I want to put this almost about a driver length behind um, the ball, but kind of on my aiming point. So I'll just kind of come back real quick. Okay, cool, here's my aiming point. Set down the PRGR. Okay, now I've got it set up. I can make a swing and I can do this you know, on every single hole. I can do it on a few holes every single time I play when I'm using my driver. I really use this as an assessment to see Hey, how well am I hitting this ball, right? Okay, take a few practice swings, right? Really trying to fill that speed, right? We want to transfer this speed onto the course, okay? Okay, pipe that ball down the middle. I can pop this up, 108 club speed, 158 ball speed, okay? And now I've got a good measurement that I can use uh, to see how I'm progressing in my speed training, and of course, to make sure that those speed gains are transferring to the golf course. Again, if this speed is well below what you're doing on the driving range, it's time to up that intensity on the golf course, okay? Great tool to use on the course, easy to set up, won't take very much time at all. Record those club speed, ball speeds. You get the history on the PRGR, can cycle through that. Keep a nice uh, kind of uh, a measurement history of these speeds throughout the summer.